Spirit. I have been preaching this sermon for 40 years. 40 years from this text. John chapter 8 and verse 1. Jesus went to the Mount of Olives and early in the morning he came to the temple. The people came to him. He sat down and taught them. And the scribes and Pharisees brought unto him a woman. Maybe you. It was me. Taken in adultery. And they sat in the midst and they said to him, this woman was taken in adultery in the very act. Have you been there? Fornication? Moses said in the law, she should be stoned. But what do you say? And this they said, tempting him that he might have to accuse him. They might have to accuse him. But Jesus stooped down and with his finger, he wrote on the ground as though they heard him not. It's the handwriting on the wall, America. And they continued asking him. He lifted up himself and said unto them, Listen, if you've ever listened to a preacher in your entire life, listen to me now. He who's without sin among you, cast the first stone. And again he stooped down, and he wrote on the ground. And they which heard it being convicted. My gospel is a gospel of conviction of sin, not comfort, not convenience. By their own conscience. Is your conscience bothering you folks? It went out one by one. And Jesus was left alone. And the woman standing in the midst. And when Jesus lifted himself up and saw none but the woman, he said to her, and this is what God Almighty is saying to you right now, Woman, where are your accusers? The Bible calls Satan the accuser of the brethren. He's cast down. Has no man condemned thee? And she said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said to her, and this is my text, Neither do I condemn thee. Oh, hallelujah. My God is not a condemning God. My God is a saving God by His amazing grace. How sweet the sound. Neither do I condemn thee. And here's my sermon today. I want the cameraman, my cameraman, to focus on the Word of God. Go and sin no more. And I told my cameraman to hold me, hold me to three minutes. I'm going to ask for one more minute. And it's the most important minute in your life. I've preached that sermon about the mercy and the grace and the forgiveness and the love of God my whole life. I love it. It's my favorite text. I get a lot of amens. People like that. They stand up and they applaud, Brother Mike. But in 40 years, I've never made it to verse 11 because the Spirit of God moves and we have altar calls. I've never made it to verse 11. The last point of that sermon and what God the Holy Ghost is saying right now, let's roll. Go. And sin no more. The modern gospel, the modern megachurches, the modern media ministries, they don't tell you that. They, they take the sinner to a certain point, but they, they make no demand for repentance. But ladies and gentlemen, if you leave out verse 11, you may as well not preach it. If you leave out verse 11, we may as well close down every church. If you leave out verse 11, go and sin no more. It is possible to overcome sin by faith in the cross. The blood that Jesus shed is the object of your faith. You can be saved, sanctified, separated, and filled with the Spirit of God. The Lord says to you today, go and sin no more.